name is Phoebe Mackin. I go to school at Meadow Wood Elementary. What grade are you in, Phoebe? Fifth grade. You're in fifth grade. So Phoebe was um, born um, at term and during her birth she suffered um, oxygen deprivation which led to her brain being damaged, the cerebral cortex and the basal ganglia. What that means in general terms is that when she was born she had no heartbeat, no breathing and to all intents and purposes she needed resuscitating. And the parts of her brain that are damaged mean that she doesn't have control over her muscles and so while she has a perfect memory and a capacity to learn she can't speak or walk or run around just like any other kid so there's obvious dis differences between her and other children um, in just the way she moves around um, with her uncontrolled movements and the way that she's in a wheelchair and can't speak but Deep down, she's just like any other kid with um, a, a funny sense of humour and interest in the sort of things that 11-year-olds like to be interested in. Living with Phoebe is good. Living with Phoebe is good to spend time with and she's you know, pleasant to be with and a lot of fun. But you've got to accept that living with Phoebe is different. So it's just different because there's stuff to do that's, that's extra to to kids who aren't special needs but if you accept that and get your head around it and do those things and do them well and if you listen to Phoebe and kind of work with her rather than against her it's good you know living with Phoebe's excellent. How about do you like going to therapy? Yes. Why? Help me, arm. It helps your arms. Yeah, the tape helps your arms. That's cool, Phoebe. Phoebe goes to um, a therapy clinic three times a week, and she, while she's there, she does physical therapy, which is basically stretching because her muscles, um, because they're not used all the time, her muscles can get very tight. So she does stretching, and then she does swimming or walking or um, sitting, different, different positioning type of exercises. You encounter people who don't know what to do. They want to understand and they're trying to understand but they don't know how to. People often come up to me and offer to pray or even one time a, a man wanted to lay his hands on Phoebe and, and give some kind of a prayer ritual in the middle of the shopping mall, which I found really uncomfortable that someone would think it was okay to impose their religious views on someone else who they've no idea who they were. So you do come across some strange people. Yes, I'm sure there's people who don't want to deal with it and I hope they don't have to because it's a very difficult thing to do. You know, you wouldn't uh, wish it on anyone, but um, you know, I think you know, I think there's people who just want them to deal with it. I think there's a lot of people, though, who get a lot of positive out of it. I think particularly younger people, children, like Phoebe's friends at schools, I think it's a very good learning experience. It's a good exposure to how, how life isn't always the same for everybody and how life can be harder for some people than others. And that's a good thing to learn early on. And it's a good way to appreciate, you know, the quality of your own life and to kind of respect others and, and be happy for what you've got in the world.